We're going to go to the NBA. Oh, my goodness. This NBA is getting fun. I mean, if you're not really a basketball fan, you should probably do yourself a favor in the next couple of weeks. Just watch a couple of games of the playoff contenders because the playoffs are going to be fantastic. There's a team in the East. We talk about them, but we don't talk about them like we do every week with that other team, which not yet, not yet, noobs. Keep writing, keep taking time. It's the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics. Fuck the Nets. The Sixers <laughs> are driving me crazy. The Bucks are still there. CH. Are these Boston Celtics bringing back some memories of some, some, some good times up there in Boston? I'm not even talking as far back as Bird and McHale and Perry. Like, this is, this is pretty impressive what they're doing. They are a good team, and they are fun to watch, man. Ooh. They are so much fun to watch. The way they shoot, they can pass. I'm not big on the rebounding, but, man, are they fun to watch. I mean, they, they played Utah last night. Utah's in fourth place in the West, and – it was over at halftime, you know, and it's not like Utah sucks. They're good. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now, for the people to listen to the show, you know, CH is a lifelong Boston guy fan. He usually tells you his team sucks right up until the point where they're going to play for the championship. Like as team sucks, this team sucks. This is what you people from up there do. You hate on your team and you're like, you always see the negatives and shoot the holes through them. And then they go and win a championship. Like I told you so I knew it the whole time, you know? So for him to say that one, that's impressive Two, They got 14 wins this season by 20 points or more, most in the NBA, which by the way, they're doing right now, like three in a row. I'm on with uh, Peralt every day, Bostonian versus the book. I got to listen to his Boston bullshit now too every day, which is fine. It's fine. I like it. Don't get me wrong. But he's even conceded, man, this is a fun team to watch. They pass the basketball great. They give each other open shots. But what they do, noobs, is they play defense. Yep. They are nasty defense. There's no ego on that team. They got really good players. I mean, obviously, Tatum's the man, but Brown's right there. Um, they got that smart who he, uh, you want to choke him out. When he's on your team, you love him, but you want to choke him out. Noose. Our team. I call him our team. Yeah. Our team. <laughs> That's our team. You know, I got the hats. The kids love it. Um, every week. We, I, I can't. I, Almost I every week. Almost every we had one but, memorial, but I'm it was so just, long since we played it and we had please. a reason to play it. I almost find the button. I forget what it I forget even what it sounds like. I it's do like, too. I'm thinking Bring it back. hard. I almost almost hear it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bring it up. Ah, ah, ah. gone for the whole entire season there's a little bump in the road the honeymoon needed to come to an end you know what Ooh. i mean they weren't, they weren't going 27 and 0 with james Harden. i mean no. it, you should be shocked that james harden already didn't request a trade so far from uh from the 76ers but <sighs> they're back winning and it's... honestly you know you talk about having fun watching the games i i was joking on on twitter the other night of uh when tyrese maxey put the team on his back dude wow and ends up winning a game that they were like, what, like seven and a half point underdogs at home. Yeah. Maxi puts the team on his back and they win. I said all last year and we can roll the tape. We'll go back to the episodes. I was saying, stop <laughs> giving Ben Simmons minutes and give those minutes to Tyrese Maxi. I loved him ever since they drafted him. He's just, he's one of those players that actually, respects and appreciates the gift that he has to be an NBA player. And anytime he steps on the court, whether it's practice, um, we talking about practice, whether it's practice. a game, whether it's a press conference, he soaks it all in and he loves it. And that's why, you know, yes, Embiid is my guy. Probably he's, he's quickly becoming one of my favorite Philadelphia athletes. I like having James Harden on the team. The reason why I love the Sixers is like that energy that Tyrese Maxey brings to the floor and just his, his joy of life. I love me some Maxey and 
I'm enjoying the ride. I am a little bit worried. You know, there's a lot of Sixers fans that are like, man, I want to get back at the Nets. Well, Kyrie's playing for the Nets again. And, mm. and, and mm. But they just dropped like a 70 burger, him and uh, mm-hmm. I mean, it'll look right. effort, which was incredibly done by CH. I yeah. mean, that, that was anybody but the Nets at its finest right there. Yes. I don't want any part of the Nets. And to go back to the point we started this segment with, Dave, as they're playing right now, I don't really want much of this <laughs> the Celtics either. No. I mean, I think the one part is the Sixers can match their – defensive intensity sixers are a team who likes playing a little defense as well that's the only reason matisse thibel even gets on the floor is the defense that he brings but um there's something to be said when a team is rolling and i think the biggest strength that the celtics had was not really making any true moves at the trade deadline so it was hey we're what we got do we want to go out like bitches or do we want to you know turn this shit around and i think that was a really rally the wagon moment because since then this team hasn't played with egos. You know, they were fighting early on in the season. They were picking fights with each other. All that shit's gone by the wayside. And this team is really just having a nucleus of guys who like playing together. And they almost like assisting that extra basket more than they like scoring themselves. So Celtics are a scary team. You know, I'll I'll bash them all that I, I can being a Philly guy through and through. But just like CH calls it how it is about the 76ers and how infected he is by the song, Celtics are fucking good, Dave. Yeah, I know. I know. And I'm okay with it as long as they don't play the Sixers. I don't want to – if they got to play the Sixers, it's going to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. And then that's, I could that's, with, I'm okay with I, that. I'm good with it. Yeah. So I'm really hoping that it lines up where the Celtics get the Nets in the first round and they can oh, take them out. out. CH. Take please. them out. That's what we need to do first and foremost. I will if bet the on the Sixers, Nets every single game in that thank round you. and right. in the series All just right. for that. Thank you. Yes. And then we'll get the Sixers. Maybe we'll get like the Hawks because they got a revenge, revenge. tour them. Revenge. Um, maybe the Raptors, although the Raptors could beat the Sixers. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, maybe the Bulls, maybe, maybe the Heat. The Heat are fighting on the sidelines yesterday. Jimmy and oh. Haslam challenge Haslam said, I'll kick your ass. If I made Haslam minus 250. I think he would have kicked Jimmy Butler's oh, ass. God yeah. would have been okay to fight him. That's okay. Um, but Noobs, are you worried about the toughness? Because I'm a little worried. Like, every time a team plays Philly for a big game, they get up in Harden's face and they give it to him a little bit. You don't, like, go after him. And I don't want JoJo, who's probably going to win the MVP. It's, I mean, it's him and Jokic and everybody else. I mean, we got you got tickets on him to win the MVP. Big cash. So are you worried at all about the toughness? Because – like Norm listens to the show. All the people we got in Philly, thank you again for listening to the show. I'm worried about this team a little bit. They seem a little bit soft when it comes to that. Um, I, I think probably the the main reason why they seem soft is that's, I mean, that's James Harden, right? We, 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 we talked about it. I said it when they traded for him. You know, yes, I was excited, but he still has that tendency to be uh harden the friendly ghost when big games come Ooh, around and he wants he wants to be the field general the court general until big big games come around he says oh i'm, I'm just a player what do you want from me I, i'm just i'm not the coach but he wants to be the coach when they're playing uh what the magic uh when they're playing the uh, the nets so oh, mm. no, i'm just a player I don't, I don't know what you guys are looking at me for <laughs> i gotta get my beard shaved up i'm ready to go so I, am i surprised that harden shrunk in big moments thus far no. Do I hope that things change in the playoffs? Yes. Does history say it will? Unfortunately not. I just think if there's anybody who can challenge him and not allow him to go back into that shell, it's Joel Embiid because he's already had the bad taste in his mouth how many times of being the top seed or having a real chance to be moving on and then some dumb shit that happens either injury-wise, either out of his control with Ben Simmons passing a ball under the basket – I think Embiid really wants to win. And and sure, you know, the MVP is great. That's all good and well. But he wants to be in the finals. Maybe not win in the finals. But oh, damn it, winning, I want him to be too. Winning the Eastern Conference Finals is, is the sole motivation for Joel Embiid. And I think he's – I hope that he's going to have a hardened understanding how important that is to him. And if he doesn't, you know, it's, it's going to be another heartbreak for Philadelphia fans. It's not up to me. It's up to James Harden to – kind of decide what he wants to be, what he wants his legacy to be, you know, and I hope Joel Embiid can get in his ear about it. 
you know, we don't have to worry about going to the finals before we move on to the next sport is the Los Angeles Lakers and Ooh. LeBron. I mean, it is great. They play in Cleveland earlier in the week. He goes triple double 38, 12 and 11 or something just scores. They beat Cleveland as a six point dog, which the line was too high. We gave that one out, told everybody. And again, we talk about the picks. We can give you the picks. We tell you winners and you don't listen. And then when we give you losers, you bitch and complain. Guess what? Go find some pick somewhere else. We ain't got no algorithms. We're just sitting here talking about the games, talking about the sports, and talking about life along with the gambling in the middle. So the Lakers aren't going to the finals. The Lakers aren't hopefully not even going to the playoffs. But <laughs> they're playing the Sixers on national TV yesterday. And the Lakers come up. LeBron comes up a little bit late. My knees swelled up. Can't play. Line goes from seven to ten. Of course, the CLV can made an appearance because all them tickets in between right in the can. Sixers win. Lakers cover. The game flies over. It happens. CH, are the Lakers making a playoff? Yes or no? God, I hope not. That would be <laughs> so satisfying if one of the two teams didn't make the playoffs. I would love it if the Lakers didn't make it. San Antonio is only two games behind. They've won two in a row, five and five over their last 10. Lakers three and seven over their last 10. Do that again over the next 10. Lakers are out of the playoffs. That would be a beautiful thing. It's, it's, you can hear it almost, CH. You can almost hear the hashtag anybody but the Lakers song. Oh, I'm sorry, Walsh. It's it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. And I said that when 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 uh, when LeBron went to L.A., I was like, it's not the move, man. It's not. At least they got their championship. Um, Shortened season in the bubble. Yeah, exactly. Yep. The bubble that, that that this Miami team that's fighting on the sideline was also in the finals. But that's neither here nor there. They got their championship. Uh, they're not getting another one as, as currently constructed. <laughs> that's too bad. Uh, yeah, too that's bad. yeah, that's too bad. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.